Hey guys, so that was blue. I'm probably going to go ahead and buy list all the blue cards that I showed you, uh, mainly because why not? This is what I found in storage and I did not realize these were that expensive. This dude is worth like a dollar a piece. Uh, veteran Explorer. Uh, I'm sure he can buy this for probably a quarter. Uh, and I have so many, so many copies of him just randomly. Because there was a time that this guy, like you couldn't, you could not pay someone to take this card from you. But now he's worth a dollar because of ED8s. And a lot of the cards, a lot of the older cards, because they haven't been reprinted, even though they don't seem that good to me, they are very expensive. So I probably have like 40 or 50 copies of this card. Leads of the Hollows is also an interesting one to look at. And that is, yeah. And you have uh, Tolarium Entrancer. Well of Knowledge is worth some money. So I pulled all the cards that were worth uh, more than a dollar out. And there's plenty, plenty of them. Uh, Mana Web, it's not worth 350. Hannah's Custody, love this image, would love to see in foil. It's not, also not bad. Floodlands. Uh, Polymorph, um, for the longest time, Polymorph was the definition of a bulk rare, but it is no longer a bulk rare, so congrats, Polymorph. Uh, Forsaken Waste, um, and all of these little lands, because of ED8s, so they're all about over a dollar, so that's plenty of them. Flooded Plains, Tar Pit, they're not as good, they are not fetch lands, because they come and play tapped. But, you know, they're not terrible, I guess, uh, for ED8s if you need that extra duel. Bad River and Crystal Vein, which is actually not worth a dollar. Political Trickery, which is worth over a dollar for Saking Waste. Uh, this card, Flickering, this card is worth over a dollar. Griffin Canyon, which, you know, for those Griffin ED8 commanders. And um, Breath Stealer's Crypt, Snake Basket is worth over a dollar. Peacekeeper is worth over a dollar. Silence, oh, here's another Veteran Explorer. These of the Hollow. Pandelno Mist. I believe this card is actually worth like four or five dollars. Ancestral Awakening. So that is just the things I found in one box. I have probably, I want to say like 150 boxes to go over. Um, obviously this is mostly Weatherlight, Mirage, um, unfortunately, my boxes are not organized in any way that I can like find stuff that I'm looking for. Uh, what happens is because Weatherlight and Mirage, they probably came during the same period of time. I just put all the boost packs and all the cards I've opened into a box. So the box is not sorted by Weatherlight and Mirage. The box is just whatever I opened that day or that week and put into a, a box. So I need to go through it a lot more but it's a lot of fun. It's definitely really fun to go through your storage, but like unfortunately in Texas, it is you know 100 plus degrees and with how humid it is, you can't go like that long. Um, you could bring the boxes home, but then that would just bring more boxes home. <laughs> anyway, that would defeat the purpose of storage, right? So anyway, that is just some recent stuff I found from storage and yeah, leave me a comment below if you found some cool stuff recently. Bye guys.